This is a calculation for a short shunt compound wound DC generator. It's an example that comes from the textbook. A 10 kilowatt, 280 volt short shunt compound wound DC generator has a shunt field, series field, and armature resistances of 150 ohms, 0.25 ohms, and 0.2 ohms, respectively. Now, before we can answer those two questions, we first need to draw the circuit diagram. Now, for a generator, it supplies electrical load. Therefore, it is producing armature current. Some of the current goes through the uh, shunt winding, but most of the current will go through the series winding and through to the supply. For a generator, it is uh, mechanical in and electrical out. So therefore, we use power out for our calculations. Right, they did give us the uh, power rating. So the power output rating is uh, 10,000 watts. Now, they do not mention anything about efficiency, so we can assume that the input power is the same as the output power, meaning it's 100% efficient. Right, we have been given our uh, resistances. So the series resistor, RAC, is 0.25 ohms. The shunt resistance is 150 ohms, and the shunt resistance is the bigger resistance, and the armature resistance is 0.25. 2 ohms. Right, let's jump ahead. Now, to calculate the armature current, let me just show you the formula we'll use to calculate armature current. Um, because it's a generator, it's positive, so it's going to be IL plus I shunt. Now, because it's a DC circuit, IL is equal to power over voltage, and to calculate the I shunt, it's going to be V shunt over our shunt. Now remember for generator we use the output power. Okay, so basically we need to calculate uh, the shunt voltage. So to calculate the shunt voltage, it's going to be the total voltage minus the volt drop across the series winding. So here's your volt drop across the series winding and here's your volt drop across the shunt winding and together they give you the supply voltage. Okay. So, um, basically to calculate VSC, let's just write down the supply voltage, it's 280 minus VSC. To calculate VSC, it's ISE times RSE. And I think it's important to point out our current, okay? The current through the series winding is the same as the current going to the supply, okay? So IL equals ISC. And one way to calculate that is to take your output power and divide it by your voltage. Right, so the output power is 10,000 watts divided by the voltage of uh, 280. Let's just write that value in here so we can use that value. That gives us um, 35,714 for the supply current. So that means we can substitute it. 280 volts and ISC is 35,714 and the value of the series resistor is 0.25 ohms. Right, that will give us our uh, shunt voltage. Our shunt voltage will be 271,071 volts. Right, now we can actually go ahead and substitute that to work out the uh, shunt current. So V shunt is uh, 271,071. The shunt resistor is the larger resistor. That's 150 ohms. So therefore, the shunt current is going to be 1,807. Right, this gives us a armature current of uh, 37, 521 amps. Right, that took quite a bit of work to work that out. Okay, now number B, to calculate the magnitude of the EMF. Now remember, it is a generator, so it's going to be V plus IARA plus ISERSE plus IA resistance brush. 
Okay, the terminal voltage is uh, 280 volts. And to calculate the volt drop across the armature, we're going to say take the armature current of uh, 37,521, multiply by the armature resistance of 0,2. Then the uh, volt drop across the series winding, the uh, supply current and the series current is the same. It is uh, 35. 714 multiply by the series resistor which is 0.25 and then what we notice is that they do not mention anything about the um, volt drop across the brushes so I'm going to say that is equal to zero so the total EMF we get here is 296,433 volts okay thanks guys for watching this video